Hey guys, Danny here. I'm just gonna run through with you how to set up your bosses or your leaders or another team members email inbox so that you have delegation access. The difference between having delegation access and having the password to somebody else's account is that you're limited in things that you can do, such as chat with other people on Google Hangouts or change their password. And a lot of people might feel more comfortable with this access because they can track any actions you take as something that you did. Whereas if you have their email password, they don't know if they made a change or if they sent an email or if you did. So there are definitely circumstances where an assistant might need full access with the password to an email account, but there are also situations where you might only need delegation access and being delegated allows you to delete emails. You can respond to emails, but if the reader looks closely, they can see that it was from their assistant. And you can also, you know, sort emails into folders and that kind of thing. So it really allows you to stay in the inbox, helping your leader to organize and keep the inbox really neat and tidy. So to begin, the first thing you need to do is be sitting with your with your leader because you do need to be logged into their account in order to give this access in the first place. But once you have set it up, you no longer need that. So here's a screen share. I have a email account that I use just to receive all of the um, random emails that come from social media accounts. So we're gonna use this as an example. Now I'm going to pretend that I'm giving my assistant access, delegation access. So I'm going to come to the right hand side of the screen to the, the gear toggle settings, and then I'm going to click settings again. Now I'm going to come to this top navigation bar, accounts and import, and I'm going to select grant access to your account. There are some Google accounts that do not allow this, such as work or school accounts. So if you're not seeing this, it does mean that your boss's account doesn't allow for this kind of access and you need to look further into changing that. So I'm going to give access to my personal account just for the sake of this tutorial. And as you can see, it's going to ask if I'm sure that I want to do this and then I'm going to grant access. Now a confirmation email will be sent to your email address. And then the next step will be to go into that email address and follow the prompts to gain access. And then you'll be able to click on your icon in the top right corner and see your boss's email accounts as an option for you to sign into. And it's as simple as that.